Hi everybody, this is Jose with Deduce and today we'll be going over how to set up a project. Now, if you have a survey file that you're hoping to set up a project with, you'll want to check out our video titled Using the Survey Importer. Uh, that's going to be on our YouTube channel, Deduce Supporter. Now, to get started, this is likely your first project if you're viewing this video. And as such, you'll likely view this demo project for the first time. What you're going to want to do instead is click the Projects tab and click Create Project. Then title it and hit Submit. This will make sure you can work in a clean workspace with nothing in. Now, the first step is importing your qualitative data. You can do this by hitting Import Data then selecting what type of data you're working with. I'm working with text, so I'm going to select text. And then selecting the data that you want to import hit submit and deduce will do its thing now if you are importing more than one file it may take a few seconds uh, if you're importing hundreds it could take a few minutes uh, as you saw that was pretty quick and if I click on one I can open it and start coding right away but that's not the next step the next step is importing descriptor fields now descriptor fields allow you to tag your entire documents with attributes. So for example, demographics, metadata, stuff like this. If you want to do it manually, you can do it this way. You click the descriptors tab, then you hit the plus sign, and title your field. I'm going to say I want an ID field. We always suggest adding an ID field just to keep track of all of your participants. After that, I'm going to add another field. I'm going to say location. I'm going to set this as Los Angeles and set this as San Diego. Once I've done that, I can move on to the next step, which is assigning these values, these tags, back to our media files. So let's click the media tab. I'm going to click the red descriptors button and I'm going to say create and link a descriptor. The reason I do this is that this is a new case I haven't introduced yet. As you can see, even if I have documents that have similar metadata, I still want to treat them as separate cases so that they're not being counted as one. See? Different IDs. Let's go ahead and finish the rest of these. Again, all I'm doing is tagging these documents with these categorical data. This can be demographics, but it doesn't have to be. All right. Now that this is complete, and I can make sure of this because all of my documents have green one there, I can move on to setting up some codes. So let's click the Home tab so that we get to the code list. We see this is totally blank here. I'm going to hit the plus sign and create a new one. Parent code. If I hover over that code and I hit the plus sign there, I can then click and create a child code. You can also add a description and assign any custom color you'd like to assign to it. I'd rather not. Now we can see that those two codes are connected. And this workflow repeated is going to allow you to create your entire code tree. You can also import it via Excel if you have that in Excel, but you don't have to. And from that, you're ready to code. So let's go ahead and open a document and make a few excerpts. I'm going to select a segment of text, apply my parent code by double clicking it. Now we see that that excerpt has been created and this phrase or this line has been coded with the code parent code. Let's do one more. I'm going to highlight the text with the spacebar. This time I see the quick code widget appear. Now this will appear whenever you have text highlighted and you hit the spacebar. I always prefer using the quick code widget so I'm going to go ahead and double click that. Now we see multiple excerpts created. And that is about it. 
once you've set up your project, coding your entire data set will be the final step. And you can jump right into the analysis once you finish that. I hope this was informative and feel free to let us know if you have any questions. Have a great day. Bye.